The Daily Sage. I'm Sage, and I wanted to jump into a topic that's going to set the tone for the whole week. It's one of the principles of Stoicism, and it comes from a Latin phrase called Amor Fati. Amor Fati means the love and acceptance of one's faith. So the phrase is Latin for love of faith, and the concept is a base principle for Stoic philosophy. And really any philosophy, and you can track it back all the way to Christian philosophy, and even before that with Stoicism, and even before that during the time of Socrates and Plato. It's the idea of accepting and embracing our destiny, understanding what's out of our control, and no matter what happens, you got to accept it for what it's going to be. Now, when you jump into a morphopathy, the idea is closely tied to living in accordance with reason, virtue, and the natural order of things. Us as human beings, we want to bestow control on everything. That's either our environment around us, our friends, the way we eat, the inputs that we receive on a daily basis, what we read, how we write, what we watch, and all of those things accumulate to the existence that we are. And it often reflects what we do and how we spend our time. By accepting and embracing the things that are out of control, destiny, we can learn that most of, you know, we can learn to make the most of every moment and it'll help us find purpose in our lives. Now, by releasing this control, A, you're embracing the faith and you're letting things go to a greater power, God or, you know, Christ or the ideal of biblical teachings, or you're accepting the moment. You're accepting that you're not going to live in the future and you're not going to live in the past. And Amor Fati is ultimately the motive and the actual um, phrase that would embrace that. Now, it's pretty much a concept that Frederick Nietzsche ended up really exploring and compounding later in history. Frederick Nietzsche ended up writing a thing called Eki Homo, which is the concept that's popularized the idea of accepting fate and rather, you know, be as human as you can in accordance with nature, reason, and logic. Now, what Frederick Nietzsche ended up outlining in the three ways that we can practice Eki Homo or Amor fati is embracing the challenges and difficulties of life as opportunities to grow and to gain strength and resolve as a human being and as a person through challenges. You know, let go of any regrets. Uh, if you're looking in the past, the old saying is you're going to turn into a pillar of salt. And you need to focus on the present moment because ultimately present moments become the past and every present moment can lead you to a different future. And lastly, you've got to cultivate a sense of gratitude. And you need to have an appreciation for the experiences that you that you get on a day-to-day -day basis and the people around you that allow for those opportunities to come your way. Now, by a practice of Amor Fati, we can learn to embrace destiny and make the most out of any situation. I like to wake up every morning at 4.30. It's not for everybody, and in fact, it's not my favorite thing to do, but by doing so, it allows me to practice gratitude and create a meditation and a prayer that allows me to put my feet on the ground and say, I am grateful for my body, I'm grateful for my home, I'm grateful for the opportunity and the people that are around me. I'm grateful for the life that I live, and I'm grateful for every step, whether it be a good one or a bad one, moving forward is ultimately moving in itself. Now, guys, I want to know how you practice Amor Fati. How do you embrace fate? How do you move forward in life? And one of those things that I do is just accepting and saying it is what it is. It may be an annoying thing, but it ultimately releases the idea of your past and your future and allows for you to tackle problems as they come up. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to The Daily Sage. I hope everybody gets their coffee this morning and has an outstanding week. Until next time.
Thank you.